Short Story 102 The Secret of Willow Creek The train rattled through the night, each clickety-clack echoing Clara's growing unease. She clutched her old leather suitcase, its worn edges like familiar friends in the dimly lit carriage. Outside, the moon cast ghostly shadows on the desolate countryside, mirroring the unsettling feeling in her gut. Clara wasn't supposed to be on this train. A sudden telegram, scrawled in her grandfather's shaky hand, had summoned her. Come urgently, family secret in danger. Cryptic words, but familiar. Her grandfather, a retired explorer with a penchant for adventure, often spoke in riddles. So here she was, a librarian from London, hurtling towards an unknown town called Willow Creek, nestled somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. The conductor, a burly man with a bushy beard, approached. End of the line, Miss Clara, he boomed, his voice echoing in the empty carriage. Willow Creek! Stepping onto the platform, Clara was met by a chilling silence. No taxis, no lights, just an old station sign creaking in the wind. Her phone had died hours ago, and shiver ran down her spine. Then a figure emerged from the shadows. A tall, thin woman with piercing blue eyes introduced herself as Mrs McTavish, her grandfather's housekeeper. The ride to the manor was fraught with tension. Mrs McTavish spoke little, her gaze fixed on the winding road. The old manor loomed ahead, dark and foreboding, its windows like empty eyes staring into the night. Inside the atmosphere was heavy with dust and neglect. Mrs McTavish led her to a room, lit only by flickering candles. Master Alistair is unwell, she muttered, placing a tray of tea on the rickety table. Rest now, miss. He will speak to you in the morning. Sleep wouldn't come. Every creak and groan of the ancient house fueled Clara's anxiety. Finally, she couldn't bear it any more. Stealing down the creaky stairs, she followed a faint glow to a hidden study. Through the dusty window pane, she saw her grandfather, frail and pale, huddling over a desk. Beside him, a shadowy figure flickered, its outline menacing. Panic propelled Clara into action. Bursting in, she found a cloaked figure rifling through the desk drawers. It turned, revealing a gaunt face hidden beneath a hood. In his hand, a leather-bound book shimmered with an eerie light. Who are you? Clara demanded, her voice trembling. The figure chuckled a chilling sound that echoed in the stillness. Someone seeking what your grandfather foolishly thought he could hide. Alistair coughed, his voice weak. Clara, the Book of Secrets, they cannot have it. The figure lunged, the book flashing with blinding light. Clara stumbled back, knocking over a candlestick. Flames erupted, engulfing the room in a fiery inferno. The figure vanished, leaving only smoke and chaos. Adrenaline surged through Clara. She helped her grandfather out of the fire, dragging him down the rickety stairs. The old house groaned as flames consumed it, casting long shadows on their escape. Outside, Mrs McTavish waited, a knowing glint in her eyes. Together they watched the manor burn, the book of secrets lost in the flames. As the first rays of dawn painted the sky, Alistair turned to Clara, his eyes filled with gratitude. You saved me, and more importantly, the secret. Exhaustion tugged at Clara, but curiosity gnawed at her. What secret, Grandfather? He squeezed her hand. A map, Clara, leading to a hidden treasure. But in the wrong hands it could unleash unimaginable power. You must destroy the map before they find another way. With a newfound resolve, Clara embarked on a new adventure. Far from the quiet life she knew, the hunt for the map would lead her down perilous paths, 
forcing her to face danger and unravel the mysteries of her own family history. The train ride had been just the beginning. Her real journey was just starting. Vocabulary notes. General. Unease. A feeling of worry or nervousness. Cryptic. Mysterious and difficult to understand. Penchant. A strong liking for something. Desolate. Empty and lonely. Fraught. Filled with tension or anxiety. Foreboding. Giving a feeling of something bad happening soon. Neglect. The state of being ignored or not taken care of. Creaky. Making a squeaking or groaning sound. Glimmer. A faint light. Shimmer. To shine with a soft wavering light. Panic. A sudden feeling of fear that causes someone to lose control. Eerie. Strange and mysterious in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable. Chaos. Complete disorder and confusion. Surge. A sudden increase or burst of something. Adrenaline. A hormone that prepares your body for action in dangerous or stressful situations. Gnaw. To cause someone to feel worried or anxious. Perilous. Dangerous and risky. Resolve. A firm decision to do something. Characters. Burly. Strong and well built. Piercing. Sharp and intense. Frail. Weak and delicate. Gaunt. Thin and bony. Knowing. Showing that you understand something that is not obvious. Objects. Leather suitcase, a sturdy bag made of animal skin. Telegram, a message sent by telegraph, an early form of electronic communication. Manor, a large impressive house, often in the countryside. Candlestick, a holder for a candle. Hood, a piece of clothing that covers the head and neck. Leather bound book. A book with a cover made of leather. Map. A drawing or picture showing the features of an area. Treasure. Valuable things that are hidden or lost. Actions. Rattled. Shaken or disturbed. Hurtle. Move very quickly and forcefully. Emerged. Came out of something. Loomed. Appeared large and threatening flickered, wavered or moved slightly, rifling, searching quickly and messily, lunge, move suddenly and forcefully towards somebody, engulf, surround in cover completely, tugged, pulled with force, groaned, made a deep low sound, embarked, began a journey or activity, Nord, cause someone to feel worried or anxious. Unravel, discover the truth about something. Idioms, cryptic words, words that are difficult to understand. End of the line, the last stop or point. Hold your breath, stop breathing for a short time. Lost in the flames, destroyed by fire in the wrong hands with someone who will use it in a bad way face danger be in a risky situation just the beginning the start of something important story written by Google Bard AI image created by Adobe Firefly AI Hello, this is Steve. If you enjoyed the story, please would you click on the like icon and take the time to leave a meaningful comment. If you want to know when the next story has been uploaded, please click on the notify bell icon to be notified. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tell your English learning friends so they can benefit too. Thank you.